Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ruzak, and today we'll be talking about the reasons as to why you should build a PC instead of buying a pre-built. Now this only applies to people in countries where individual computer parts are not overpriced. I know for some people it is their only option to buy a pre-built because they're cheaper, but that is only in very few cases. If you live in the United States, Canada, or United Kingdom, you really have no excuse for getting a pre-built. And my demographic does seem to be people from the US, UK, and Canada mainly. So so anyway, the typical excuses I hear are like, well, I don't know how to, or it takes too long, or even something absurd and untrue, like it's too expensive. These are only three of the many excuses people say in response to the usual, why didn't you just build one? Well, the people who say those things are wrong. You'll be saving hundreds in exchange for just a few hours of your time if you build a PC yourself, which I will go in depth about later in the video. Okay, so before we dive straight into it, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my channel. I post PC tech videos, among other things. Also, if you have any comments or questions as the video goes along, be sure to drop a comment. If you like the video, drop a like. And if you enjoy the content you're seeing, drop a sub. Really helps out the channel. All right, so number five reason. It's a lot easier than you think. Listen, guys, building a computer isn't hard at all. I built my first when I was just 14. Now, although it was a really cheap, below average gaming PC, the process to putting it together was the exact same as any other. With no assistance and just a few YouTube tutorials simultaneously running as I built it, it only took me about three to four hours and it ran on my first try, no mistakes. Now, yes, of course you need to be careful, but all that really means is the basic careful guidelines. And what I mean by that is don't drop anything, obviously. Don't bang into anything. Don't use excessive force and just overall treat the parts how you would treat something that costs hundreds of dollars. It's not like you need to have a surgeon's hand, but that's not true at all. Alongside being careful, you of course need to know what the heck you're doing. This is actually the easy part. Watching a good tutorial or two will give you a good understanding of what is going on and what goes where. And hey, let's say you're building your PC and you run into something that wasn't discussed in the tutorial you watched. Don't worry. This ain't some school exam, just look it up. I promise you will not be the first person asking whatever question you have. Typically, people have already asked the exact question on a form website and had it answered. Good ones that have always had the answers from my experience are tomshardware.com and the Linus Tech Tips forums. But if by the slightest and smallest chance that you can't find the answer to your question, then just go ahead and ask. From my experience, the Linus Tech Tips forums has a great, quick responding community as long as you ask your question in the right area. All right, on to the number four reason. You gain and learn a lot. All right, just hear me out. Knowing how a computer works has a ton of benefits to it. There are usually eight main parts in a PC. A CPU, CPU cooler, the motherboard, the RAM, the storage, the video card, case, and power supply. Having knowledge of these parts can help you a lot down the road. You'll have a better understanding of numbers such as wattage, amount of RAM, storage capacity, hertz of CPU or GPU or RAM clock speeds, and many other numbers. For example, if you ever needed to upgrade your power supply because you wanted a new strong graphics card, you'll know exactly what to do and what wattage to get. Or maybe a part malfunctions. Well, you'll know exactly where it's located, what it attaches to, and how to replace it. Another scenario that's happened to me is I had a friend who wanted to put together a PC. Now, being the great friend I am, I went and helped them out, and it's actually really fun. It's not all boring. It's actually a really amusing experience. Every time you boot up the computer, you can think, hey, I made that work. I am the reason it starts up. It's a pretty good feeling. Next up, the number three reason, you make the choices. Let's say you have your heart set on a pre-built with a fantastic graphics card, high-end CPU, and a lot of quick RAM. But its motherboard doesn't allow overclocking, its only storage device is a slow, outdated hard drive, and the power supply doesn't provide enough wattage for upgrading. Yeah, this is a common problem with pre-built gaming PCs. If you wanted an SSD, well, your computer doesn't come with one. It only comes with a slow hard drive with that pre-built. They present you some great selling points on the headline, which usually is a good CPU, graphics card, and RAM, but other parts that a person with little to no knowledge on PC building wouldn't notice are usually cheap, doinky ones. Oh yeah, throw in some RGB, a nice full window case, make it colorful, good CPU and GPU and RAM, but everything else? Get the cheapest dang parts you can find. Now, if you were to build a PC, this wouldn't happen. You make the decisions. You get to choose how much storage you have, how much RAM you have, what CPU, what GPU, you choose absolutely everything. 
if you didn't like the case on the pre-built you were looking at, but you liked the specs, well, you're kind of stuck. You can't really change it. But if you built your own PC, you can choose the best graphics card for yourself, the best CPU for yourself, and the best looking case that is the most appealing to you. Or even if you needed a build with a lot of storage, like you have a big game library and you're upgrading, well, chances are you're not gonna find a pre-build with more than two terabytes of storage unless you're buying a really expensive one. Or if you just wanted an average gaming PC with average performance, but a lot of storage, you can totally do that. It is completely up to you when you build your own PC. Next up, the number two reason, no extra unwanted software. This is a big one. Every pre-built comes with its own software installed, from free trial antiviruses, to crappy games you never asked for, to background update checks from the manufacturer, among other programs that also run in the background. Those are annoying, and sometimes you can't remove them easily from the Windows uninstall page. And it sucks, because majority of people just leave them be, and let them run in the background without their knowledge, which usually comes with a performance impact too. Now the reason manufacturers do this is people pay them to have their preloaded trials on the computer, which you know, is understandable from a business standpoint, but really gets in the way of the consumer, aka the person using and gaming on the computer. Now with your own PC, you will have a clean, untouched hard drive. You go ahead and install Windows onto the hard drive and bam, you have a clean Windows install with no bloatware, no trialware, because you are the one in charge of what goes on the computer in its first baby steps. And now finally, the number one reason. It's cheaper. I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, didn't really go in depth, and I really would like to show you guys some graphics and other bits and pieces to demonstrate this fact to you guys. I'll mention again that this doesn't apply to every country, but this is usually the case. All right, so a super popular pre-built company is CyberPower. I always see one of these in a Best Buy or some other electronic store, so I know they're up there. Now, CyberPower's Gaming Essential Esports is their $1,185 gaming PC. Here are the specs. A Ryzen 3600, a nice glass panel decked out with RGB, a Gigabyte ATX X570 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM, an RX 580 with eight gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, hmm, a 240 gigabyte SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive, hmm, and a 600 watt power supply. Now, these are good specs, and this is a great 1080p and 1440p rig, but when you look at the price, whoa, that is pretty sad if you buy this over building your own and choosing your own parts. So with a 1,185 budget, I went ahead and came up with my own computer on PC Part Picker. This build is amazing. Like the difference between the graphics card alone tells you enough. The 2060 provides nearly a whole 50% performance difference, so you'll be getting a ton more frames. Also for the CPU, we put in the Ryzen 7 3700X, which is put up against the Gamer Essential Esports 3600. Next for the RAM, it has faster clock speed of 3600 MHz versus the CyberPower PC's 3000 MHz. Also, it's RGB just like the one in the pre-built. For storage, we have a 1TB M.2 SSD versus the pre-built's 240GB SSD and 1TB hard drive. Yeah, this is kind of a big one. I'm actually fairly surprised that CyberPower went with a 240GB SSD only instead of just putting in, say, a 500GB SSD and having no hard drive. But hey, more power to the PC builder, I guess. And as for the RGB fans and fancy lighting and things like that, is it really worth $1,185 to have that versus having a computer that is light years faster? I mean, with this PC build, you can still always just add RGB fans down the road. And they're cheap, they're like 20 to $30 for a pack of three. So yeah, that is my solid proof for my number one reason. Now, I'm not trying to down talk CyberPower at all. I am sure they have great quality control, but obviously there is a huge difference in the performance you'll get when comparing buying your own parts to build your own PC to getting a pre-built. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hopefully I influenced you guys to build your own. The reason I want you to is so that you can just get the best bang for your buck while simultaneously learning a lot. PC building is fun. Like, why do you think so many people make channels revolving around it? Like, yes, there's money in it, but it's a genuinely fun thing to do. I personally enjoy assembling together PCs, and I am sure you will too if you do it. Also, I'm currently editing the video, and I just wanna thank you guys so much 
for 2,000 subscribers. I truly never imagined this channel would even hit that this year, let alone 1,000. So thank you guys so much. I have a lot of big things coming for this channel. We just need to wait a little bit because, you know, I got to wait for YouTube revenue and stuff because I want to do some PC builds. That would be really fun for you guys and to put as content for this channel. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. We have big things coming. That'll do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Have any comments or questions, drop a comment below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoy the content you're seeing, drop a sub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.